hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are making this beautiful and cute snowflake breeze square by aurora dragonfly mum of two the just uh the the link for the pattern will be in the description box below um and if you want the link to our file which has some other comments and suggestions about the square then the link to the facebook group btc granny squares 2021 that will be in the description below as well um and we've got loads of other squares coming this year we've had loads of good squares and we've got loads of good squares to come so this square and um, the pattern states six inches it will be a six inch square if you use a five millimeter hook and worsted weight yarn i use dk yarn it's readily available here in the uk and a four and a half millimeter hook so my squares tend to come out at about four and a half inches which to me is fine um they're all consistently coming out of four and a half so i'm happy with that um and i do share with you at the end um you know ideas of how you can make it um bigger if you want to um also in the description box below there is a link to video made by aurora herself um it shows just round five now round five is um this round here this round here where we are doing back posts double crochets um and working into rows below if you come here just for the round five tutorial then by all means stay here and watch this video through but if you just want round five if you look to the pattern and you're a bit confused then do check out aurora's video for that um the designer she has made a video for that round in particular um, which can be a little bit tricky um if you're not quite sure so the link for um that video will be in the description below um otherwise if you want to see how the whole square is made then hang around grab a cup of tea and your hooks and yarn uh your, your yarns and hook um and let's get started round one with a slip stitch on your hook you need to chain four and then slip stitch into the first chain to make your ring and then we're going to chain three as our first double crochet and then make a double crochet into the ring my yarn's getting a bit tangled up here okay so then we are going to chain two and do two double crochet into the ring chain two two double crochet chain two two double crochet chain two two double crochet one two three four five chain two and last two double crochet and then a final chain two and then you should have six sets of two and chain two spaces in between one two three four five six so you're going to slip stitch to the top of your starting chain three slip stitch to there and then you have a tiny tiny little kind of hexagon there we go so on to round two round two we're going to slip stitch in the next double crochet along and then slip stitch into the chain space and then we're going to make a chain three which counts as our first double crochet and then make two more double crochet in the same space so effectively we have three double crochet in there now chain two skip the next two stitches and then in the next space make three double crochet chain two chain two 
and then make three double crochet in the next space chain three two double crochet uh, sorry three double crochet do that all the way around finishing with a chain two and i'll see you at the end of the round here we are at the end of the round i've got my last chain two we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first chain three And there we go there's our round two square well our round two hexagon at the moment of our snowflake so we're going to move on to round three round three we are going to slip stitch into the next double crochet which is that middle double crochet of the set of three so we're now in that middle stitch and we're going to chain four which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And then we're going to make a double crochet in the same stitch. Like so. And then we're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet, and then into the space, we're going to make a V stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Like so. So you can see how this first one that we did here looks just the same with our chains there. Okay, so then we're going to chain one, skip the first double crochet, and then into the middle one, we're going to do a V-stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip the stitch into the space, do a V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet chain one skip the first stitch and then into the middle stitch do a v double crochet chain one and double crochet all into the same stitch so repeat this around chain one v in the space chain one v in the middle stitch chain one okay all the way around and i will see you around um, near the end Pause the video and I'll meet you in a moment. Here we go. Once you've done your last V stitch, you want to just do a final chain one and then join into the third chain up your initial chain three. Or you can count one back from this side. So just do it in your third chain there. Which leaves you the chain space there. So... Here we go at the end of round three. A nice six sided hexagon part of our snowflake. Round four, we are going to slip stitch into the V space here. So slip stitch across into that space. And then in this space, we're going to make our first corner. So this is going to have six corners as it's a snowflake, it's six sided. So First of all, we're going to chain three. As always, this counts as our first double crochet. And then we're going to Sorry, I lost my place on the pattern there. <laughs> I was looking at it. You ever look at a pattern and you're like, I can't see where I'm supposed to be? Okay. It would help if I moved up. I was looking at round three and thinking, what? <laughs> okay, so we've done our chain three. And then we're going to do a double crochet. Chain two. And then two more double crochet in that same space. Okay, so we have chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. All in that first space. And that is our first corner and then we're going to single crochet in the next seven stitches now chain spaces count as a stitch in this so you can choose to either go through the chain or just go under in the space so i'm just going to go into the space you can choose to actually go into the into the um, chain if you wish so we're going to single crochet into seven so we've got our first stitch here so single crochet into there and then into the space that's two then the stitch is three space is four stitch is five 
space is six and stitch is seven. So seven single crochets across there. And then the next place is our space. So we're going to make another corner. So we're going to do two double crochet all into the space, two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. There we go. <laughs> it looks a little bit like ears, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, and then again, seven single crochets, so into the stitches and the chains or chain spaces. So seven of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your last single crochet should always be into a stitch, which means your space is next. And it looks here like I've done a very, very tiny chain, but it's okay, the stitches will fit there. So you're going to do your next corner in the next space. So again, two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet all in that space and then you're going to continue this around so you're going to do your seven stitches seven single crochets um, and then your corner in the space seven stitches and a corner until you have six corners and you'll finish with your seven single crochets okay and I'll meet you back to um, join at the end of the round so at the end of round four, you just want to slip stitch to the top of your chain three that you started with, as we always do. Oops, if I can get that in there. There we go. And there we go. You can see now we have our beautiful little snowflake. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, for round five, if you've seen our file in the group, um, the Facebook group, you will see two um, slightly different photos of the squares that we've made. Um, one tester made it as per the pattern um, with the colour changes and one tester decided to change colour for round five um, rather than changing colour on round six. Um, so I'm going to show you, um, hopefully on screen, any moment there will be a photo. So having seen those photos, you can choose to um, change colour this round and have those stitches showing um, nicely around the edge here. Um, or you can choose to change colour in the next round, round six, and have the snowflake showing as the snowflake, and then that new colour will join after that. So it's up to you which, which look you prefer. I'm going to do it um, exactly the same as the pattern. I'm going to change colour um, in round six. So we're going to do round five now. Um, so if you want those little loops and forming a nice little edge around here, a little pop of colour, then change colour now. Um, change it in the same stitch that we're on now. Um, otherwise, change colour with me in round six. OK, so just decide which look you prefer. And um, I'm going to keep my snowflake as it is and uh, change colour in the next round okay on to round five then round five we're going to chain one and then we are going to do a back post double crochet around these stitches here from our v so if you look at each corner let me just pull my hook out each corner we've got these two stitches here this is our v stitch OK, so if you look here, we've got this V stitch. So we're going to do double crochets around each of these two stitches on this corner. And then on this corner, there's the two stitches each corner. 
okay so we're going to do back post double crochet which i will show you now so we chained one and then we're going to yarn over bring our hook round the back and through to the side of that stitch okay to the side of that stitch and then we're going to go over the top of the stitch and through that space to the back now you can see this stitch is at the back of our hook yarn over and pull through and then complete this as you would any normal double crochet it's a little tight because we only had a chain one before it but just pull through two and then pull through two and then if I show you the back here you can see just here is the stitch that I just made okay we're going to do that around the next double crochet here the yarn over bring your hook through the space to the side of it so we're here over the top of the stitch through to the back you can see that stitch there yarn over and pull through the stitch and then yarn over and complete your double crochet as usual so you can now see here i've got these two double crochets okay and then we're going to do a double crochet into this stitch from round two so round two we had sets of three double crochet okay so we've got our v stitch in the middle stitch and then we've got these one either side we're going to do two double crochet into this one on this left hand side but we're going to do it from the back so yarn over bring your hook through and then you want to go through the top of this stitch and the way that i find it easier is to have your hook facing down towards the stitch and then you can pull your hook through that and bring it out at the back okay and then do your double crochet just like so so that's behind your snowflake okay and it's through that stitch you can see it's in that stitch there so we're going to do that again yarn over come through from the back pop your hook into the top of that stitch and through to the back and complete your double crochet okay and now what we're going to do is more back post double crochets around these next two i did originally say it was just the corners but it is all of these double crochets okay so we're going to yarn over bring our hook through the space there and then go over the top of this first double crochet to the back yarn over pull through and then complete your double crochet and there's just a little bit of yarn there which is if you changed color that's what you would see um there but doing it this way it just all kind of blends in in together quite nicely so we're going to do a back post double crochet around the next double crochet so yarn over come into that space from the back yarn uh, sorry hook over that stitch and through the next space to the back yarn over pull through and complete your double crochet and now the next stitch we have is this one here from round two so this is the right hand side of our set of three okay so we're going to do two double crochet into there just as we did on this one here so yarn over bring your hook through from the back and then you have another way you can do it you can bring this fold this down and fold this down and then you can find your stitch there that's one way you can do it but I prefer to be able to see exactly what I'm doing so I yarn over come through and then I use this hook part to go through like this I catch the top of that stitch and then push through you can see that there and then do two double crochet in that same stitch once you've got one in there it's a lot easier to fold this down and see where that stitch is much much easier okay and then we're back to doing um our back post double crochet around these two stitches so from the back over the stitch and back out you've got your stitch here yarn over pull through and then do your double crochet we're going to do that on the next stitch here through from the back to the front 
over the stitch, back through, and then complete your double crochet. And then we're now to this left hand side stitch of the three. So we've done it on this first one here. And now we're going to do the one this side. So double crochet. So I'm going to do it the same way as before. Through from the back and then complete that double crochet. And then you can see now it's easy to see from the back now where that stitch is to do your second one. Okay. And where are we now? So now we're here to these two double crochets in the middle, this V. So we're going to go straight to the first one and do a back post double crochet, just as we've done before. And then a back post double crochet on this one here. And then we're down to this first double crochet of the three. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. Rewind the video um, about five minutes if you need a recap. But you're going to be doing two double crochets in this double crochet down here. And then you'll be going to do, um, you'll be doing a back post double crochet around this stitch and this one here. And then two double crochet in this double crochet one row down. And then back post double crochets around these two and down the bottom back to the top down the bottom okay so continue that all the way around as i said rewind about five six minutes if you need a recap um, and then just repeat it all the way around and i will see you near to the end for how to finish this round so to end round five we finish with two double crochet in the top of this last stitch here which actually was um our starting chain from round two so just go into the top of that might be a little tricky because that's where we did our slip stitch just work into the top of that to do your last two stitches and then we're going to join into the top of our first double crochet so you need to look here you've got your chain one and then the top of your stitch if you struggle to find the top of your stitch then you can by all means just um, work into that chain or turn your work around and then find that stitch from the back Okay, so I've turned my work around and now I can see the top of the stitch is just here. So just do a slip stitch into there. It's going to be a bit backwards, but just go with it. Oops, might be a bit tricky. Sorry, going off camera there, guys. I think I've zoomed in a bit too much. So there we go, slip stitch there. And then if you um, haven't changed colour yet, then just fasten this colour off. Um, and get ready to join your new colour. If you've already changed colour, then stick with what you've got. <laughs> and there we go, just fasten it off and pull that tightly. There we go. So we've got this round of um, stitches on the back there. Okay, put that down there. There we go. There's our snowflake, beautiful. And of course, if you didn't want to make this into, a, into an actual square, you could have skipped this last round and just kept it as a snowflake. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's move on to round six and I'll um, be joining my color for that round. So I'll see you in a sec. Round six. This is where we're going to join our color for the background if we haven't joined it previously. And what the pattern says is to join it eight stitches from the joining stitch. So count the joining stitch that you've got um, where you joined previous round. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and join in the eighth stitch. Now, this isn't a precise um, count. It doesn't matter if you've got it seven stitches or nine stitches. It really doesn't matter. Um, the only thing that 
will make a difference is your corner will be slightly further round but to be honest we've got six points here and only four points on a square so um your your snowflake will just be a slightly different angle um than what's shown in the pattern but I really wouldn't get hung up on that um if you change colors previously so you've finished here on the last round and you're still using that same color then i would just start in that very next stitch as i said it won't make a huge difference just that your snowflake will be very slightly differently positioned so don't get hung up at all about i can't quite count these stitches i don't know where i am just join in any stitch you like it really will not make too much of a difference so a bit close there let me just zoom out slightly there we go okay so in this first stitch we're going to make our first corner which is the same as last time two double crochet chain two two double crochet so i'm going to do my initial chain three for my first double crochet and then i'm going to do a double crochet chain two and two more double crochet all in that same stitch there we go and then we are going to do 11 double crochets around okay 11 double crochets around so two probably best if i don't count because you're probably counting two aren't you so i won't count out loud So 11 double crochets there and then in the next stitch we're going to do another corner so two double crochet all into the same stitch chain two and two more double crochet nice and simple oops if you keep your yarn on your hook it's nice and simple <laughs> so two more double crochet in there and you're just going to repeat this around 11 double crochets and then a corner 11 double crochets and then a corner and you will finish with your um 11 double crochets and then i'll meet you back to join we'll just be joining as we have in all the previous rounds but i will meet you back there so 11 double crochets and then a corner there we are at the end of my round six So this is what it looks like. It's going to pull the corners out slightly, make it more square. There we go. Just joined into that. Um, I haven't joined. <laughs> I thought I had. So just going to do my join in the top of that chain three. And there we go. There is the end of my round six. So if you joined in a slightly different place, um, your snowflake will just be slightly differently positioned. But I think that's um, the beauty of it, that they probably all won't be exactly the same. Um, but that's how it looks anyway. So for the last official round, um, round seven, um, it's a beautifully simple round. Again, we're going to do our corners in the spaces of the corners. And then we're going to do 15 stitches along each side. So nice and simple. So we are going to chain three. Again, as our first double crochet. And then we're going to do a double crochet in that next stitch. And then we're at the corner. So once again, two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. So simple and then we're going to do one double crochet in each of these 15 stitches so we've got 15 stitches now just make sure you get this first stitch it can sometimes hide a bit with the corner 
So do your 15 stitches along and then do your corner in the space. And that is it for this round. And you'll fasten, uh, sorry, you'll join at the top of this chain three where you started. And that's it, nice and simple. So I'm gonna do this round and then I'll meet you back here. So here is my square. Oh, I have finished that round and here it is, a cute little square. Now this um, square is designed to be six inches if you use a five millimeter hook um, and worsted or Aran weight yarn. Um, but I'm using DK yarn and uh, a four and a half millimeter hook. Um, that's what I have readily available here in the UK. And my square has come up at 4.5 inches, which is pretty standard for a six inch square, uh, a pattern that states six inch square with five millimeter and worsted weight. My squares always come up at about four and a half inches, which I love. Uh, cute little squares, love them, love them. Um, so yeah, so this is my square here, love it. Um, and uh, if you prefer to have your square a bit bigger, then by all means go ahead, add some more rounds of double crochet. Nice and simple, just repeat what you did on this last round. Um, double crochet, or um, if you just need a tiny bit, then single crochet, or somewhere in between. Use half double crochet. Um, completely up to you. Um, I like this square as it is. I'm going to keep it with the rest of my four and a half millimeter. Um, four and a half inches. Getting confused with the hook there. Uh, the rest of my four and a half inch squares. So that is it today from me. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you um, are in our Facebook group, I would love to see photos of what you've done, what colours you've made. Obviously, I've gone with the traditional wintry snowflake, but it is also a bit star like. So you could use different colours and make it look more like a star. Um, but come and share some photos in our Facebook group. Um, if you're not a member there yet, then have a look in the description box below and there will be a link to that. Um, so I hope you've had fun today. Um, I have, lovely square and not, not exactly as complicated as it first looked. So have fun and just keep hooking. And don't let your tea get cold either. <laughs> See you next time, guys.